Hey there, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Um, I'm going to be doing a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine type of reading um, in the same format as the, the general readings this week. All right, so, you know, this might, this reading might help validate your general reading or, you know, it might go off in a different direction. So we don't know. All right, so we're going to see. So if you consider yourself you know, having some type of divine soul connection or twin flame connection, then this reading is for you, okay? All right, so we're going to start with, just like in the general readings, the two cards, the Wisdom of the Oracle and also the Romance Angels card. And we'll see where we're at collectively with these divine connections. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have exchanging gifts. So exchanging gifts, you know, would be something that both souls would be doing here in the physical world in this particular connection. It may not feel like a gift all the time, but it actually is, all right? So it's not necessarily always about the, the connection coming into union. It's about what happens when the two of you are in separation, how you grow, the enlightenment that you receive, how you grow spiritually, all right? So let's see what else we have. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, I feel like this is an underlying message to everything in, you know, in these soul connections, in these twin connections. You know, you're exchanging gifts through your energy, all right? And it's allowing you to find your passion, not only about each other, but about what you are doing and giving in this world as well, okay? And it's allowing you to move towards having more joy overall in your life, all right? So that's what I'm feeling from, from this. So let's get a masculine card here and a feminine card. The masculine is represented by the gray and the silver cards, and the feminine is represented by the yellow or the gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But God bless me. Oh my gosh. I was saying this in another reading that I have to say that my nose does never itches in everyday life. And in some of these readings, my nose is itching like crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So these are the cards for the feminine. What? is that <laughs> it's nuts oh. all right oh my goodness all right let's see for the feminine what do we have self-esteem so one of the gifts that this connection is giving you is it's helping you build up your self-esteem. I feel like we saw this in another reading and another sign. Um, yeah, it, it's helping you build your self-esteem to help you move towards what you are passionate about. It might be something very surprising to you, feminines, okay? Um, something that you never thought you could do something that you never thought you would do in life. And it doesn't mean that this connection, you know, isn't growing. It is. It's growing whether the two of you are together or not. Part of how you know if it's a 
you know, a divine connection is the, the love that you have for the person doesn't really, it grows. It doesn't really go away. And there's also not a need, not a need for union, not a need or, you know, or not an attachment, you know, that you can just be, you know, you can be in this world with or without this particular masculine and your energies connect in the 5D and sometimes in the 3D, sometimes not, okay? All right, so let's see what else we have here for the feminine. We have Knight of Wands. Okay, so here's that passion, okay? First of all, this can be Sagittarius. This can also be, you know, a fire sign, Leo or Aries, but this card does represent Sagittarius, okay? So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius specifically. Um, this is, you go in waves. You go in and out of having um, a good amount of self-esteem. You go in and out of passion. You go in and out of your energy. It's like, what I feel like the gift will be here is leveling out your energy about yourself, how you feel about yourself. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Nine of Swords. Overly cautious. What, there's something maybe about this connection or about life, like life in general you might be very, very cautious. You might be cautious to take risks. You might be cautious to make certain moves in your life. You might take too long to make certain decisions. Um, it's a very... Actually, I'm reading that as if it's Nine of Wands. I don't know why I did that. But it's Nine of Swords, okay? Which is shockingly... I don't know why I didn't see that. But Nine of Swords says that you're worried or you're, you're telling yourself stories that aren't necessarily true or aren't necessarily based in, in fact. That doesn't help self-esteem, okay? This energy here is very uh, flighty, very all over the place, okay? Let's see what else. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you present to the world like you're very confident, like you're very happy by yourself. I almost feel like you talk about, to other people, you'll say, you know what? I don't need anybody. I, you know, I'm fine on my own. You know, I probably will never get married. And do you really believe that? Or, you know, because if that's the energy that you're putting out, all right, it's what this person or this masculine is receiving. I feel like this, you're putting out in a, a confusing energy. And that's what this is. This is a confusing energy. You go in and out of, of your, of your self-esteem. Like you, sometimes you're feeling really great about yourself and sometimes you're feeling horrible and you're worried. And you might think, well, that's natural for human beings, but I feel like drastic ups and downs for you. Drastic ups and downs. And I feel like you're presenting to the world like you don't need anybody. You don't need any help. You don't need... Um, you may not even need other people's support. You may not want to be around people right now. You may enjoy being on your own, building up your self-esteem alone. And yet, the energy between the two of you as a divine connection is about exchanging gifts. 
What are you giving to the world? Because whatever you're giving to the world is what you're giving to your masculine. Right now, I feel like you're giving this energy of kind of a flighty energy back and forth. I don't know. Some days I completely believe in myself. I think I can do anything. And then there are some days where I'm like, what am I even doing on this planet? I can't seem to get anything right. That's a drastic, you know, and I actually, I did, um, I did some other readings that you'll see later in the week, okay, um, about the collective energy. And this feels a little bit like that in the sense that it's like you go between two extremes, like there's no middle ground for you and how you feel about yourself right now. Okay, and that's affecting, that's affecting your energy towards this masculine. All right, so let's see. What's going on with this masculine here? What do we have? We have cycles. All right, so where is this masculine in this cycle between the two of you? Let's see. We have Lady of Pentacles, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like he, he's coming from a stronger place, okay? And I say he and she, but of course apply it as, as it resonates. Um, he is coming from a place of trying to be as genuine as he can about what is real to him? Is this connection real? Is it not real? Okay. And I feel like he has the passion towards you. The cycle, we're going to have to see what that's about for this, for this masculine lady of pentacles and three of wands. I feel like he's getting He's becoming aligned with what, <clears throat> with what his expectations are about this connection. He's also waiting for you in some way here, because Three of Wands can be about waiting, waiting for you to balance out your energy. Your energy right now is definitely, as far as the feminines go, is definitely off. It, it, you're projecting a very single, a very I'm okay alone energy. And that might be coming, might be coming from a defensive place. Because it's not, I don't feel like it's serving your self-esteem. I don't feel like you're being completely truthful or authentic with yourself. And I feel like you're being very difficult on yourself for that matter as well because you go in and out, in and out of feeling aligned, feeling not aligned to who you truly are. What else do we have here? Eight of Pentacles. So first of all, this definitely could be somebody that you met at work. It could be somebody that... I feel like this masculine wants to see this work, this is very um, high level. Like I'm not seeing a lot of how this is going to work. I feel like this is intention to make something work. All right, so I want clarification <clears throat> on the cycles. What this masculine is being authentic about. This three of wands. And maybe how this is going to work if this involves any type of union. And then for you, let's do self-esteem. This in and out energy. We're going to clarify everything. Okay. All right. So for self-esteem for you, we have the hermit. So this is another nine. Okay. So we've got nine, nine. You're in the nines. If you're seeing nine, 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 okay? It's like, I feel like right away that that's what the cycle is for this masculine. I feel like 
this masculine is waiting for you, maybe subconsciously, maybe energetically, you know, for you to move out of this, I'm on my own phase, I'm better on my own, I want to be alone. Feminines, you might be in that energy of wanting to be alone and telling everybody that you want to be alone, that you're okay going through life alone, okay? Knight of Wands, in and out of this self-esteem, Four of Swords. So I think your biggest vice right now is Hermit, Four of Swords. You're overthinking about how you <clears throat> how you feel about yourself. You're beating yourself up when you're not feeling good and you're asking yourself why when you do feel good. Okay? Nine of Swords. What stories are you telling yourself? All right, we've got Princess of Swords, which is Page of Swords. I feel like this worry that you have potentially around this masculine comes from false sources, okay? And that's weird to say with the Page of Swords because th this can be about truthful information. You might be seeking truthful information about what's going on between the two of you, but you're, you're not getting an accurate picture of what's going on with this, with this particular masculine. You're not. You might be going through... Um, other people, you might be going through social media, you might have seen something on social media that worries you about this particular masculine. I feel like it's false. I feel like it's not what it appears to be. Nine of Pentacles, clarified by Ten of Cups. Okay, that's what I'm talking about is what you're doing. You're saying to people, that you're fine on your own, that you're completely, you find more happiness being on your own than, than any relationship you've ever been in. Ten of Cups is about complete emotional fulfillment. I feel like, I feel false energy here and false energy here from you. Like your, this could be causing this. Because of what you're seeing online or what you're hearing about this masculine, okay, it's almost like a preemptive strike. Like, you know what? I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. I'm good on my own. Okay? And it's like a false mask. And that's why you're going in and out of this energy around self-esteem. Because you know you're not being truthful here to yourself. And the only person you're lying to here really is yourself. <clears throat> Not sure why you're doing that, but you are. All right, so let's see. Cycles for this masculine. Okay, we've got the Divine Tower. Something is caving in on this masculine right now, and it's unexpected. So what's interesting in a Divine reading is the fact that you're focused very much on being on your own, you might be healing on your own, you might be in denial on your own, but the reason that this is happening or that you are being removed from this masculine's life right now, I believe, is because this masculine's going through some type of tower moment, some type of unexpected change. Let's clarify the tower. And we have... Four of Cups. All right, so I feel like this particular masculine is losing something right now, going through the process of losing something, losing a job, losing a family member, losing um, a, perhaps another relationship that possibly should be leaving his life anyway, but I feel that he's still going through... Um, a difficult time okay and that's what cycle is ending here all right so lady of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles and ten of Pentacles so this right here 
I feel like is leading this masculine towards what he authentically wants here, what his abundance truly is, what he would say he truly wants, all right? So the gift, I mean, you can see, you can kind of see what the gifts are here. You know, you might be spending a lot of time on your own building your self-esteem. You might have to, you might be lying to yourself a little bit to help you to do that. But either way, you are definitely spending a lot of time alone. I feel like you're, you're trying to learn things. You're, tr you're also spending maybe a little too much time seeing what's going on with this person. So what could be the false information that you're seeing online is you might see happy pictures of your masculine with somebody else. I feel like that is false. This person is either being left behind by somebody or being left by a job, being fired, or they're losing something right now, which is actually helping them because the Four of Cups, right, there's three cups that are spilled over. That's where I feel like he is right now with this tower coming in unexpectedly, which ultimately helps him find his one ace of cups. Okay, so it's helping him move towards ten of pentacles, what he defines as his abundance, which is a gift. It's a, this tower and what he's going through now is a gift. You might have been the catalyst for this, okay? And your self-esteem might have been hurt along the way from this masculine, but that's helped you to focus on your self-esteem and growing that, growing that to, to self-love. That's a gift, all right? So what do we have here? Three of Wands clarified by death. It's the wise fox in this particular deck, but it's the death card. This masculine is going through a huge transformation and an ending. This ending is a gift. It's pushing both of these situations are pushing both of you towards your passion. Definitely could be your passion for each other, but it's also, it's something more. Okay, it's something more. Eight of Pentacles clarified by the hangman. So even though that this masculine is going through, I feel like some big changes, some big transformation, um, they do spend time letting themselves get lost in thought about you. Okay, they are hung up on you, hung up on whether or not you know, this could ever work. This feels maybe far away right now. But definitely, definitely they are, they do spend a lot of time thinking about you. I feel like you try not to think about them <laughs> right now is what I'm getting from you. Even with everything they have going on, they are thinking about you. In this particular reading, I'm going to pull another Wisdom of the Oracle card and another Romance Angels card. We have community and we have codependency. All right, so let's see. I want to see
I just want to see what each one of these cards pertains to for each of you. Community for you. Prince of Swords. All right, so this is the Knight of Swords. All right, so... Who are the people around you in your community? Is this person, is this masculine within your community in some way? Do you have something in common that you might connect through other people that the two of you have in in common i feel like is what this is saying um and then what does this masculine have we have three of swords i feel like for the masculine um There's, he, he is questioning the people around him. He doesn't know whether or not to trust the people around him right now. You, I, I feel like this is calling you to, to a community of people. And for the masculine, he's questioning a group of people or a community of people. It's like this is saying you need some people around you right now and this masculine actually needs the opposite. He needs to distance himself from a certain community of people. So kind of a, a mirrored effect there, if you will. And for exchanging gifts, we have Ten of Swords for you. So what might have been perceived to you as a betrayal, which could be why you're wearing this mask of wanting to be alone, what could be perceived as a betrayal to you is actually a gift. And for the masculine, we have five of cups. The loss that this masculine is experiencing is actually a gift. I feel like this masculine can see the gift right now more than the feminine. I feel like the feminine might still be a little bit hurt by something that happened between the feminine and the masculine. All right, so this passion, where are we with passion between the two of you? For you, Ace of Cups. So when, when you're alone, when you're in your, your high self-esteem, when you're feeling good, this is where you're at. This is how you feel. Like there's opportunity for love to begin here with the two of you. And then we have Eight of Swords. This masculine actually feels trapped by their passion right now. It's like their passion can't be released yet. But I feel like that is literally changing as we speak. But this is how this masculine has felt. They have felt trapped by their passion, like they can't act on it. And then finally over here, codependency. Codependency is anything that we depend on outside of ourselves. And for you, we have Page of Pentacles. So for you, codependency is about... You attach yourself to what limits you versus what propels you forward or what the windows of opportunity are. You tend to live in what your limitations are. And that might actually, in a weird way, feel safe to you. So in a way, that's that could be seen as a little bit of a codependency. Codependency I see as the devil card. So, um, you know, that could be your vice, so to speak, is, you know, when you're in a, a bad self-esteem place, you focus on all the limitations of something versus all of the opportunities. 
And for this masculine, what is the codependency? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like the... Um, In a weird way, I feel like for this masculine, with the Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy. I feel like this masculine was very slow to move away from something that he needed to move away from. And the tower came in to do it for him, to move him out of that cycle. So, you know, his codependency could have been other people. Remember, this Three of Swords and this community card says that it's good for him to spend some time alone right now. And for you, it's about putting yourself in situations that elevate you or are being around other people because you are isolating. You can see kind of the, the mirrored effect here. Yeah, so let's let's see what let's see what outcome is coming for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. What is in the near future for the divine feminine and divine masculine? Near future. All right. Feminine, we have peace. White buffalo woman. <laughs> That's me. I am a white buffalo woman. I live in Buffalo. All right. And then we have dedication. Dedication and peace. This is the masculine card. And then what do we have? Love yourself first. This is the ultimate lesson for both of you. This is the gift that both of you are giving to each other. And this is what's coming. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's what you're learning in a certain way here on your own. And that's what this masculine is learning too. Because they... This masculine took a very long time to allow something to leave their life. And because they didn't allow that for so long, it hurt their own self-respect. You, If you're with somebody that you know you don't want to be with, that hurts your own self-respect, right? So the big lesson here is loving yourself first. Barney, stop that, please. All right, and that will bring peace and dedication to what's what's coming, what's new, what's ahead, okay? All right, there you have it. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you are looking for a deeper, more personal reading, just reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye.